do these stuns. Oh my god, you've been slam dunked. Oh my! Wait, you trying to streak here, bud? Nope, because I am. Slam dunk. Slam dunk. Oh my word. Black Ops just hits different, doesn't it? It just seemed fitting to get on some Cold War and just talk all things Black Ops 6. Because my word, there's a lot to go over. Oh my lord. Yep. 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 The other one there I saw, but I'm just a little too behind. I've got another inactive and another inactive. Okay, let's just build up the streak while warming up. Yep. Don't peek it, sir. Yep. I think I want eager you right now. I'm warm. All they needed to see the tidiest bit of Black Ops 6 sniping gameplay, and I'm absolutely ready to go. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. So yeah, we're gonna talk all things of Black Ops 6, including showing off some sniper gameplay. Which you may have missed. You may not have seen it. Because honestly, it slipped through the cracks for me. Let me just oh my girl, let me just focus up here for a second. Give me the quad feed. I thought there was a guy. It's a guy with a crossbow. So Omni movement, eh? What do we uh, <laughs> what do we think about that? Four years in development, you can tell how like polished the gameplay, you know, mechanics are. Now they've got a whole new system based around the idea you can sprint in any direction, you can dive and slide and do any of that in any direction. That is like a first, you know, for Call of Duty, rather than these weird 360 <laughs> dolphin <laughs> dives that we've been doing. It's just a, a more polished version of elements that we've had, but obviously just weren't implemented correctly. When I saw that you could kind of like prone on your back and... Oh my god, give me the quad feed. Oh, he run away! Oh, that is a shot! When I first saw that you could lay on your back, you know, like a poor turtle on its, on its shell, I was a little worried that sniping wouldn't work, you know, because it's obviously such a big heavy gun and you would maybe pull out your pistol, but I saw a little bit of gameplay and I'll show it on screen right now, where you can tell he's actually got a sniper out, which I think is gonna allow for some incredible gameplay, like just absolutely stupid stuff, like slide diving around a corner and hitting a no scope midair, and just the quick scope element. I'm hoping there's a bit of pace to the sniping, cause with a little bit of the gameplay we saw, it's always default attachments, right? There's obviously nothing to increase ADS speed when you see these builds and you see the early gameplay. It's always just the bare bones of the gun, but the only slight concern I've got is that the pacing of the movement is gonna be too quick for the sniping but I've, I've got faith in Treyarch I have faith that they're gonna pair them together quite nicely but that is a slight worry that you know we've got all this quick incredible movement and then the sniper is a bloody slug so just a bit of a worry nothing I should be concerned about because in Treyarch we trust am I right? Dude these stuns oh my god you've been slam dunked oh my god you've been dunked <laughs> the thing is folks I don't even play basketball gotcha don't turn around. Don't turn around. Woo! That is a little quad feed, maybe. Close enough. Maybe too slow. What, are you trying to streak here, bud? Nope, because I am. Slam dunk. Slam dunk. <laughs> Can you tell I'm ready for some Black Ops 6? We have seen a little bit of a preview of the sniper rifle or one of the sniper rifles in the game. It definitely has like the L96 style, like a little bit like this gun right here. But I guess the error of the game is set after this game, so it might actually be a more modern version. By the look of the Mastercraft bundle you get with the Vault Edition, they're calling that sniper the LR762. It might be same old, same old Call of Duty to you, but for me it's, oh my God, I forgot about this slam dunk. Oh my God, hold on. Boom. And let's show that little brief bit of gameplay here so you know what it's looking like. I'm kind of clutching at things here. I feel like they just didn't show loads of sniping stuff, but the things that I've grabbed and based on some of the vault stuff and whatever it may be, there's just a little hints, a little teasers of sniping in Black Ops 6. There's even a clip of where they're like recording people playing the game and you can see someone jump around the corner with their heavy sniper and it still looks pacey. Probably not too exciting, but it's, it's a bit of something. It's Black Ops 6 sniper gameplay. What do you want from me? Gotcha. This guy inactive. And another. Just saw that guy. Hello. We're rushing on rush. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, get off me, sir. We still got more to talk about as well. So for those who haven't seen any of the Black Ops 6 stuff, I guess I'll just run through some of the key things that are returning or that are a part of the game, just so 
you kind of know what's coming. Because a lot of you watching aren't massive nerds like me. And you don't care about knowing every little thing about a game bloody months before it even comes out. Big thing for multiplayer is they've announced three lane maps are returning. I feel like they say this every year though, and I don't really know what changes. We'll see what happens there, but there's going to be 12 6v6 maps on launch and then four strike maps they're calling them which play on 2v2 and 6v6 so i'll be honest with you those could be absolute chaos the hood which you are seeing right now is quite similar to what we're going to be getting in black ops 6 it's yeah the the circular mini map the just the style of the hood and the graphics down in the corner they're pretty similar to this game so that's kind of the look you're going to be getting but the massive thing about the hood is it's actually going to be customizable so you can move the map to the bottom left you can move the kill feed to the top you can put your icons in the middle like that is something that's straight out of call of duty mobile right there so that is massive quite a unique fun feature to have in the game for everybody so let's talk things that are coming back that aren't new to the game but things you know classic features that are returning which uh, i'm very excited for number one being the traditional prestige system goodbye to this seasonal ranking stuff we now will have that classic you get to level 55 or rank 55. Oh my god, you've been dropped. And then you have the choice, to prestige or stick. And I think that's amazing. There's going to be 10 prestiges on launch. And then I think there's like some level 1000 master prestige, like grind after but you still have to prestige 10 times to get there so the old school style i don't know how many years it's been now but it's back so what do we think prestige montages or is that is that that might be too far i might have said too much there i might have said too much but speaking of montages theater mode is back oh my word wait oh my i'm filth <laughs> Actually disgusted. Theater mode is back and it should have been back a long time ago. The idea that you can go back and watch your gameplays or record cinematics or just do whatever. There's so much cool stuff that you can do when you have a theater mode in the game. So to have that back is massive for so many different creators or so many different players that just want to show off their massive gameplays and their skills like this. Come on. Whoop. What are you doing, sir? Get off the floor. I'm dead order. Nope, slam dunk. Well, the topic of things returning, round base zombies is back as well. I mean, they're just... I feel like it's got to be such a well-polished game on all angles. That's just one thing I've just noticed. Been in the development for four years. I feel like they have nailed and just polished every aspect of the game. Gotta give me Black Ops 2 vibes there, you know? Like, whatever you do, whatever you enjoy, the game has catered for you. I'm gonna be hopping off multiplayer to play little zombies, little round based zombies. The Warzone integration's good. We play a bit of that. We're back to the multiplayer. Hopefully, the game is gonna be firing on all cylinders. But as all these score streaks go off here, that is one thing that I'm glad won't be returning from Cold War. They didn't touch it in the reveal but i saw uh, an announcement after that the traditional you know score streak system will be in the game not this one where if you die you can still continue to earn that streak because i feel like on this game at a certain point in the match everybody has their streaks and it's just chaos rather than having them just used throughout the game so looking forward to that hopefully as well the rolling kill streaks that they've just added back into modern warfare 3 the idea that right now look i'll start earning my uav even though I've just got my heart. So hopefully that returns as well. And it's not just something they've implemented into Modern Warfare 3 and then forget about. I hope all the changes they're making during Modern Warfare 3 cycle, I hope they implement it into Black Ops 4 too. And it's not just things they're just trying to do to get you back on the game. I hope they stick around. So I guess that is a good point to end things. We got some crazy gameplay today to say I don't play much Call of Duty these days, but hopefully you all enjoyed me talking all things Black Ops 6. Lots to look forward to. Probably a little too early, but you know what I'm like. I'm a massive Call of Duty nerd. I'm a massive Black Ops fan, so I'm ready. I'm itching to get my hands on with it. But if you made it all the way to the end, please drop a thumbs up for me and leave me a comment with the word slam dunked. All right, slam dunked in the comments. If you made it all the way to the end, you're a true legend. Thank you for watching and fingers crossed we're in for a good year.